FlossTube. It's Jen from Jen Stitching Niche. I'm back for an update video. Today is Monday, May 10th. Yesterday was Mother's Day. That's why I didn't record yesterday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I did. Saturday we went and bought plants to go in our flower beds. And yesterday my sons each brought me um, sweets. So my older son brought me a cherry and cheese, um, cream cheese tart. And my younger son brought bought me or brought me a bag full of chocolate and uh, covered caramels and different kinds so that made me super happy um i'm not going to eat all of it immediately but i'm eating a lot of it um and then that was about it we've just been um kind of working in the flower beds over the past few days and looking at all the stuff coming you know getting ready to um, be harvested or picked um, we have peaches, lots of peaches, which is exciting, and then some plums and blueberries and blackberries, so ugh, I get so excited. I went this morning and picked about about a quart of um, English peas out of the garden, so that's exciting, But um, and a strawberry and a, pe and a yellow squash, so woohoo! Um, one thing that's happening though is there are snakes out now. I have wandered up on two snakes when I'm taking care of my chickens. One was in the chicken coop. It was a chicken snake and I scared it away, I thought, and it crawled up into one of the nest box and then turned around and just stared at me. I'm like, that's awfully rude. <laughs> you need to leave. So my husband went out there later to see if he could find it and it was gone. And then the next morning I went out to, um, you know, I go out every morning and let the chickens out, and there was a king snake, so that's good. I don't mind king snakes, but still, it's creepy. So, my husband thinks it's funny because I go out there and I wear his boots now because I'm not want to step on a snake in my tennis shoes. So, um, so that's my life update: snakes, peaches, and plums, and berries, and um, Mother's Day. So. All right, so main, the main thing in this video is just to talk about the, um, my progress and my plans for mania. So we've gone through 10 days of mania, if we count today. And I've stitched most of the days as planned. I stitch every day, but one day I did not stitch the planned, the one I had planned. And I'll explain what I did instead. Okay, so the first nine days of Mania, I have some things to show. So um, first day, May 1st, I had a new start, and I was going to start Ida Mae Crow by The Good Housewife. And I'd shown my progress in my last video, and I'm finished. And what I've decided to do is not to stitch any of this. I just stitched the character, because I'm going to finish it just like the um, Stacy Nash Primitives Animal Crackers. I'm going to add it to that collection so that it's so cute. And here is Miss Ida Mae Crow. My sister and I are calling her Vansy, who is was one of our great aunts because she dressed, had dresses like that. And um, she stitched on a piece of 36 count. I believe this is uh, Victorian motto linen that I got when I was in a um, club. But she is really cute. Adorable. And um, Michelle Rudy, a uh, farm girl, did a uh, tutorial on how to finish the animal crackers in her Patreon. So I'm just going to follow her instructions to finish that. May 2nd was Ira Ray Crow, her boyfriend, or her husband. This is the good housewife again. And I stitched it on the same fabric, that 36 count. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to finish it as a little pillow. And he's so handsome. We call him Emmett, who was um, Fancy's husband. So, so adorable. I have a, a helper sitting right here. It's Elvis. He thinks I'm eating, so he's sitting right there waiting. May 3rd, I did a really fast stitch. I actually started this and finished it on May 3rd. This is Farm Fresh. It's a um, freebie from Hands On Design from a few years back. And I'll finish it as a little pillow, just like this um, model that she shows. And there's a little set of pins with a chicken and an egg that's really cute. So that's adorable. May 4th, I started Out on a Limb by Scattered Seed Samplers. So I was in her club last year. This was a club kit. 
but she's now releasing the last year's club kits as individual charts so you can get the chart now of this one and this is my progress it's stitched on 36 count vintage country mocha using dmc so it's really pretty love that my needle is barely hanging on there all right may 5th i stitched the may mini sampler from from the heart needle art by wendy and I'm stitching all of this series. I started last August and I've stitched every one each month except for April. I didn't, I skipped April. I need to go back and stitch it. So that's my progress on May. I'm stitching it on a piece of 40 count white linen. And for the most part, I'm using the call for flosses, but I do substitute, if I don't have it in my stash basket, I just substitute with something that I already have. And last year, I uh, joined the Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, floss of the Month. So I've got a lot of their flosses. Actually, here's my collection so far. So that's like six months worth of flosses. And um, they're really pretty. The flosses are, the color is saturate. The color saturation is a lot like um, Weak Style Works. But the floss feels like classic color work. So it's a good combination. Um, and again, let me show you the ForbiddenFiberCo.com. You can look there to see about signing up for the floss um, club or just look at what flosses she has. All right. Oops, make sure I get all that together. Now, the next three days, the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th, I was going to work on the Laundry Company um, series by Hands On Design. So... The first one I started on the 6th was Loads of Fun. And remember, I mentioned this last time, I'm changing these teal colors to green to match my decor. So that's my progress. And I stitched one, you know, just th that evening on this. And I'm stitching it on 36 count Liberty Gathering Gray. But I like the way it looks on this. It's going to be pretty in my... Um, laundry room. On the 7th, I worked on the never-ending cycle. I got more progress on this one. I had fun with stitching on this one, except that I used the wrong color for the word. It's supposed to be gray, but I was watching Blacklist, and it was real intense, and I wasn't focused on this. I was focused on that, So, but I'm leaving it because I think I like it. Well, I know I like it. I like the green. So that was the seventh. And then on the eighth, I was supposed to stitch the last one in the series, Irony, but I didn't because I was focused on something else, which I will talk about in a few minutes. All right, and then on the ninth, which was yesterday, I started Summer Whirly Gig by Heart and Hand. This is gonna be a really quick stitch, stitching it on 32 count so that it will fit in the little tart dish that um, you can get from heart and hand some shops have them as well and then that is my progress look at that chicken so cute so that's where I am up to this point so now I'm going to share my plans from now until the 16th because I have quite a bit to stitch so Notice that at this point, I'm st all of these are new starts. I have no leftovers from previous uh, mania, um, but we'll get to that in a minute. So next up today, I will stitch on Berry Keeper by Brenda Gervais. And if you look, the model is stitched one over one, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a Lugana, as she suggests, and I'm going to stitch it one over one so I can finish it just like Brenda Gervais. However, that's, takes, that's a slow process, so this will probably be a mania, you know, it'll hang around more than one mania. We'll see. And then on the 11th, I'm going to stitch Where Liberty Dwells. This is also a Brenda Gervais. And I'm going to focus on this pillow here. If I finish it, I, you know, anytime soon, I may stitch this one, but I really want to stitch that one. 
on the 12th, I actually have an old Mania start. So I started this in 2018. Teresa and I were going to stitch a Hawk Run Hollow piece. Not the same one, but just a pick, each picked a Hawk Run Hollow. And she's already finished hers. But I have gotten very little progress. I have one block and completed. And then a little bit of progress on the banner and a little bit of progress on the next block. But I will stitch on this on the 12th. So that's my progress. It's really pretty. And I do like stitching it. I worked on this block for a few hours during stitch, um, 24 hours of cross stitch. But I'm working right along. On the 13th, I'm going to do another Brenda Gervais. This is like a Brenda Gervais mania for me. Strawberries and Stripes. Which, this is a small piece, and I just love the, the bird and the berries. I probably will not finish it in the little peat cup like she suggests. I did the um, Cat in the Moon that's in the same series, but I don't think I'm going to do the same with this one. I've got several little bowls and things that I can finish this in. So pretty. I've got it all kitted, ready to go. On the 14th, I'm going to do another Brenda Gervais, another Bird with Berries. This is Brambleberry Bunting. So pretty. And again, I've got it ready to go. And then on the 15th, I'm going to do the monthly sampler series from Country, Country Cottage Needleworks, the May of that series. I just don't have it with me. So I don't know where my chart is. I put a bunch of stuff in my craft room and it's a mess, so I have to go clean it up there and find it by the 15th. And then the last um, for this week is Spring Whirly Gig by Heart and Hand. These are cute. I love the Whirly Gigs. These little goofy animals, too. All right, so those are my mania plans. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is why I did not stitch the irony on the day I was supposed to. I got um, wrapped up in something else. So I guess it was 2018. I went to, was it 2018? I think so. I went to a, um, we call them launch meetings when we get ready to revise a, the, an edition of the textbook. So we meet and all the authors that are working together, there's three of us on our team. Um, we discuss what things we want to change in the book. We go through all 28 chapters and look at what we're going to do. I mean, we look at everything and make a plan of action. Well, we meet in Dubuque, Iowa, which is where um, our publisher is located, and, which I love Dubuque, Iowa. I love that area. But um, I decided to go up a day early because I could rent a car and go to Spring Green and visit the country sampler. So... Um, that's what I decided to do that trip. And when I was driving through that area of the country, I kept seeing all these barn quilts, which were so cool. So that's on the side of a barn, they would like paint what would look like a quilt block. And I had never seen that. That's not something that's common in my area of the country. Um, but I had heard um, Pretty Southern, uh, Linda Jo, talk about it, uh, or, you know, years before. She's the first person I'd ever heard mention a barn quilt. And I thought that was so interesting. And I'm trying to convince my husband that we need to put one on the side of our house. On the south side of our house, we have a big area that doesn't have a lot of windows. I'm like, we could totally put a barn quilt there. But so I've been obsessed with the idea of barn quilts. So I started thinking about a series that I could develop of barn quilts. And my husband and I were sitting down one day and I was telling him about it. And he's like, well, what are your ideas? So I quickly sketched out like 10 of the 12 months. And he's like, well, why don't you do that? I'm like, oh, I don't have a lot of time. He's like, well, you've got a good start. So why don't you do that? So I started working on some of these barn quilts. And um, I have the first two in the series charted. The first one, I've, I've got models stitched, and I just uploaded the PDF to my Etsy shop, Jen Stitching Niche. So the um, barn quilt, this is the chart, 
It's called July Liberty Basket. And so each one is going to be about the same size. It's 59 by 59. And then you'll, it'll have a center motif and then it'll have these four corners. But they're supposed to look like something that would be quilt related. So this basket is something that you could use half square triangles to make. And then this kind of looks like a quilt star. But I thought that was so pretty. And I've stitched it in different colors. So this I stitched, this is the one that's on the cover there. I stitched using classic color works. And then I also stitched one using um, some of the Forbidden Fiber Co. And so you can, you know, switch it up and use it however you want. You can change it from patriotic to any set of colors you want. But I thought that was really cute. So if you're in the Forbidden Fiber Co. Club and you want to know what this conversion is, let me know and I will send that to you because it's not in the chart, but I used the ones that were in the club uh, since, I guess, I've been in it for about six months. So that's my, my newest release in my shop. So if you're interested, you can check that out and I'll put a link to my shop down below. All right, so I think that is all of my progress. I have two more things to discuss. I want to talk about my um, purchases. So I don't have a lot of cross-stitch purchases. Most of you know I have an online Etsy shop. So, you know, plus I've got tons of charts that I don't even, I don't need anything new. So I've been collecting quilting stuff. No progress on quilting, but I did get this new club that I signed up for, thanks to Teresa, who shared the information with me. So this is Blackberry Primitives. Um, they're doing a kit series with, is it Maggie Bananami? It's a uh, seasonal, so this is the spring. And you get the full kit. So that came in last week. And then just before I started recording, I found these on Amazon. When the cold wind blows, so this is a Blackbird Design quilt book with all kinds of good stuff. And I found this one, Friendship Garden. Isn't that pretty? So I just looked on Amazon for Blackbird Design and both of those came up as a bundle. So nice. All right, so that is my haul, I guess. And the last thing is to talk about the giveaway. So last giveaway or last video I had five copies of Midnight Watch to um, give away and the winners of those are Barbara Whalen or Wallen, Nanette McDougal Dykes, Stitchy Witch 42, Lisa Hurst, and Barb Gunther. So I will put the names on the um, screen and then if you um, or one of these winners, just email me at jlreagan at bellsouth.net and I'll get those mailed out to you. For this week's giveaway, I have two different charts. And I, as I've talked about in the past, these are charts that have been I've gotten from my distributor. And because of some shipping issue, they're not in pristine condition. Um, so first is Kringles by Little House Needleworks. And you can already see what the issue is there. It got bent. But if you're interested in this one, just say Kringles. And the other one is Bunnies. And I'm not sure why this is in the stack of things to give away. I don't see anything wrong with it, but it's Bunnies. So if um, you're interested in this, just say Bunnies. And I didn't say this in my last video. Please don't mention giveaway um anything that indicates that i'm giving away a chart just mention the word in your um your comment and that way i don't have to worry about anyone trolling or whatever but last the last video the word was midnight and a lot of people talked about stitching to midnight stitching after midnight it was about 50 50 most people not have half the people said they stitched till midnight half the people said they couldn't stitch till midnight I've been watching Blacklist and I've been staying up late every night. It's ridiculous. I normally am in bed and asleep by 11 o'clock every night. And the past week and a half, I haven't got into bed before midnight. I got to stop doing that. 
all right so i think that's everything i hope you enjoyed the video it's short shorter than normal but um, since I'm doing these every week now, I think that we'll probably look at about a 30 minute video. Um, I hope everybody has a great week and your mania plans go as planned and I will see you soon. Bye.